Hey guys, it's Trevor with Seven Peaks Fence and Barn here to show you our new 10 by 10 clamp on shade. We want to show you today how to install it. So here's a video, check it out. All right, to get started, I'm gonna show you what a shade kit comes with. Um, when you purchase a shade kit from us, you're gonna get the instructions written instructions right here is going to go step by step to help you to, uh, to install it correctly. Um, it's going to come with a box with some framing screws, 50 framing screws, a box of some 10 to 10 screws and we'll show you what these go to here in a little bit. Panel clamps and then we got four pieces of tin and then all the, the framing material for basically the, the, the trusses and everything for the frame of the shade. Um, you're going to have three outer frames, two trusses, and then your four posts. And uh, we're going to get started now and start putting it all together. Alright guys, I'm going to show you um, how to get started with the shade. Um, just some easy tips to make it go smoother and easier for you. As you can see here, um, to start off, you're going to be using the post that have that L piece up top. And you're going to want to make sure the L start facing each other and going in towards the pen. As well as the panel clamps are not going to be going from panel to panel. They're going to be going from panel to post. All right, this is the base, this is the start here. So as you can see, we got the three panels set up and then we have all the posts clamped on to the panels and facing inward. Okay, and we're gonna start with that and then once we get the roof on, we're gonna add the additional panels, but this is how we're gonna start. So let's start working on the roof. All right, then after you get the post set, you're gonna do this front and back truss. As you can see, they're putting it up um, now. And how you're gonna connect that truss to the post is by panel clamps. You're gonna do one on the side and then two on the bottom. As you can see here, same on this side. So it's really nice and easy because you can literally just set it right up there and it just it'll just sit there. allowing you to get your panel clamps ready and uh, start attaching it that way. Alright, now we're going to take these square pieces that have these little tabs and they're going to literally just go up and sit right on top on the corner there. And the tabs are going to sit on top. And all three pieces are the same size so it doesn't matter which one goes where. And then you're going to put two screws up on those tabs there. outer frame done. Now all we've got to add to that is that middle support that's going to go right here in the middle. Go right across there. All right now we're adding the middle piece here and we're also going to do two screws there on that top flat, uh, flat strap that's sitting up there that'll Hold it right on top of the other square. Like I said, all three of those squares are exactly the same size and length, so it doesn't matter where you put it. Once you have everything in place, you're going to want to go around and tighten all those 
banana plants um, on the frame. Alright, now we're going to get started with the shade here. We're going to start with the first one. And uh, you can see here, we just kind of uh, went off the edge just a little bit. And it's going to line up pretty nice here on the edge. You'll be able to tell if it's not square because it's going to be hanging off. Um, be not straight, obviously, with the tin. So if it is, one little tip, just come grab this corner here and pull it out whichever way you need to go, allowing it to be more square so that your tin lines up all the way across the roof. All right, now on the last piece of tin, you can see here, right here is where that second to last one ended. So you're gonna wanna overlap one, two, three, that third one, and it's gonna give you a nice little, just a little overhang on that end. Now you're gonna see a box of tin to tin screws. It's gonna be the shorter, fatter ones. And now what those are for are, see right here, where they overlap, you've got that valley you can just screw right in on the top to lock them in together and you're good to go. So 10 to 10 screws. Well, we got all the screws in for the shade and uh, that's all put together. Now we're just gonna finish up with the last few panels and uh, finish up our pen. All right, now you can see how the shade kit and the stall goes together. It was super easy. And uh, all the panel clamps are tight. You wanna go back through when you're all done, make sure they're all tight. And we do recommend on the corners that you do do a, a post of some sort, to give some extra support um, for the shades they don't blow away so you could either you know pound a t-post in or pound a post in or dig a hole and concrete a post on each of those corners um, to really give that some solid support um, in case there is some strong winds or anything but um, that is our 10 by 20 stall with the 10 by 10 shade thanks for watching guys